Everyone, how are all you guys doing? So I got a question from a subscriber on how I recognize NPCs from players. So I thought I would just share a few examples in this video. This is not a tips and tricks video, by the way. This is plainly just to answer the question to the subscriber. So this video is for you. So let's get started with the game. This game is terrible, by the way. <laughs> it did not go well for me. Well, I won the game, but it was still a crazy game. So right at the start of the video, you're going to see the um, puppeteer jog into the hidden group to try and go for the um, hidden kill. So right from the get-go there, NPCs do not do that. They walk in a certain route across the map or around the map, and they do not go off course. Talk, um, players, by the way, sorry, they will go off course. They go heavily off course, especially when they're trying to go for good kills. And through practice, you will recognize that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So here, as you can see, as I respawn, I'm actually going to act like an NPC by just walking the route of a usual group would do. And as you can see, the target has no idea whatsoever. Obviously using disguise as well. She knew that character wasn't in the game, so disguise in deathmatch, you should be using it. Anyway, so I'm going to go for my target here. And I can hear whispers. Now, whispers is a really, really big giveaway. And as you, as you can see, um, the duelist, have you seen how he's walking zigzaggy across the map? He didn't walk in straight one line. He was kind of just moving in and out using fast walk. Obviously, if once you recognize the fast walk, which NPCs don't do, um, then you'll start to pick it up. It's, it's all practice. It is all practice. Um, so, obviously, I kill my target there and my pursuer recognized anyway because of the high profile prompt. What, what am I even talking about? Yeah, here, there he is. <laughs> I thought, oh, sorry, I was a bit, I was talking a bit ahead of time there. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't see the duelist there. One mistake I do is, um, swing, don't, I don't swing my camera around. But can you see the Jaguar? Have you seen how the Jaguar walks up the hill, then he's fast walking in and out? He's, because he doesn't know what I'm going to do. And so he's kind of confused. And that confused act from a player, you will see it in the character easily. Um, here I go, try go for the cornerstone, but it was more of the whispers there. She was being a bit stealthy. <clears throat> Excuse me, but um, the whispers the whispers make it so obvious who your pursuer are. So here what I do again, I casually walk, acting like NPC, and then soon, when he goes in front of me, then I turn around, trying not to give big movements away. So what you want to do is try not really give big movements away. If you do, big movements will help you to recognize the players from the NPC. So I have a question again. <clears throat> That's right. If, if, my ability set in this video, by the way, is probably stupid. I've got um, disguise, disguise, time phase. I'm not using determined because I am not really determined to win this match. To be quite honest with you, um, then I'm using knives. And then I'm using six senses as well because six senses is pretty good. Tells you where you um, tells you where your um, pursuers and uh, targets are, which is quite cool. I actually might stick to this profile set. I was trying it in a few competitive lobbies. It didn't even work. But anyway. Right, let's try and get this puppeteer to be. I think that I think all the examples of how I recognize NPCs is probably finished. But what you do there is I've, one thing you don't do in this game is waste time on a kill. I'll tell you that right now. You jump into a hidden group, you get your hidden, and you get the kill. Do not, especially when they got one or two pursuers on them. You do not waste time. So here, here I try to go a bit greedy to be quite fair. She definitely heard the whispers and I was, I was walking straight up to her. And I tried to time phase and use the um, blended group there to get hidden. And very nice firecrackers. Uh, and so why? I, <laughs> that was really funny because I just stood right near her. And thinking the contract system would be really crazy and give me her as a um, target. And it did. So another point, you want to make some... You, you want to make risks. Risks are risky, but a lot of the times they can pay off. So here, I'm going to throw my knives. I'm sure he killed the NPC that I wasn't too sure. No, he didn't kill the NPC. But I used my knife because I knew he was near a hidden group. And I could um, get my times too hidden as he was walking away there. So that was a nice 950 point kill. Puts me into first place. And I'm going to try and rush this 
pop it here i know i'm not gonna walk nicely and as you can see there i get my streak again not acting fishy i don't think she recognized i was there because i was walking nice and slowly now i will admit in ac4 walking slowly and stealthily will only got you so far to be quite fair because there are a lot a lot of good players but it's still good to know the basics it is still good to know the basics but I was trying, like, I was playing a lot of lobbies and um, it was really hard to get some good examples of being stealthy. I mean, the players are just really good. The players are really good in this lobby as well, but um, I managed to get a few. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to stick in this group, but she's running away. So as you can see what I'm doing, I'm staying in the group, but just swiveling my camera around instead of... Um, moving around myself so i'm not really giving myself away the only way reason i would die there is the high profile prompt after i got the kill but yeah again big giveaways in this game by the characters turning the head around which is a bit frustrating i don't know i don't know why they included that in so i decided to walk around the back of the um the map instead of walking straight through the door because npcs don't usually do that as well quite uh, sometimes they will but often they don't and um that's a bit giveaway and you're he will look fishy so I walked all the way around uh, but here I can hear whisper I don't know who it is and my targets right at the other end of the map so I'm gonna to stick to the rules here uh, there's only one minute seven seconds left of the game I think this is the last um, part of the match here and I am just dying a couple of times before this but I do manage to win the game on 7,425 points and that's the help that is the rest of the video so if that really helps you please comment and let me know if you want me to do a serious detail video i can do but for more um for more tips and tricks i would really recommend you uh, watching big shot brown um i'll put his links in the description uh, king as well and what's his name jawid the pro or who is love me a all of them are brilliant deathmatch players where you can get some really great tips from. But thank you very much for watching the video. Comment, rate and subscribe. And I shall see all you guys later. Take care.